Hey Taurus, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your last week of January general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was I'll Do Anything, I'm Sorry by Genuine. Genuine happens to be a Libra. So you can be dealing with a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individual. Or this could be a situation associated with someone that you ended things with or ended things with you in Libra season of last year, which is September, October time frame. Now, what stands out for me in the song, like the hook of the song, he says, I'll do anything, anything you want. Yes, my word is bond. Baby, I was wrong. Please forgive me for what I've done. I'm sorry. So, you know what I got after that, that lyric just stood out to me? I heard very clearly, like, this person has gotten a taste of their own medicine. Maybe they thought the grass was green. And I get that a lot in these readings. Like, people think the grass is green on the other side. Or they may have treated you like, oh, I could do better. Or I'm better off without you. And then when they don't have you in their life, they're feeling the sting. They're feeling the burn. And I feel like that's what it is. Now, my question with this is, has this person really learned their lesson? Or is it just that they miss the comfortability that you give them? You know, the the bonuses that they get with having you in their life. So I'm going to see if we pick that up, but I definitely feel like that's one of the strongest messages that we have for us today. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the Hierophant. And then we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Bottom of the deck, Page of Pentacles. See, I feel like you come with many benefits. Okay. Because if you look at Pentacles, Pentacles hold value. You guys come with benefits. Um, and I also feel like this person is going to be trying to come back towards you, offering you something. Okay? Pages are also messengers. So it's like this person wants to come in with some type of message. They want to come in with a message of stability. I do feel like they mean it. But I also feel like you're dealing with someone who's immature. Pages are young, youthful. They got some growing and expanding to do. I just heard. Um, remember, if you ever watch I Love Lucy... Ricky Ricardo would always tell Lucy, like, Lucy, you got some explaining to do. So somebody's name may be Lucy. Someone's name may be Ricky, Richard. I'm getting that also. Ricardo, first and last name. Um, also, someone's first and last initial could be C-G-M-W-P-O-F, also S. Someone has a feather tattoo. I'm getting it as well. Someone's spirit animal definitely could be a peacock. And I definitely feel like someone has eyes on you. Um, the story with the peacock's feathers, those little, you know, right there, they always say that those are eyes. Spiritually speaking, they're eyes. And there's many of them. So this person is definitely watching you here, like keeping tabs on you. They want to know if you've moved on. And also, you can have this person reaching out saying, asking, can they see you? Like they want to talk face to face. I'm getting that also. Okay. So let's go ahead. Yeah, somebody wants to come towards you. Major Arcana, Cherry, Cancerian Energy. Oh, yeah. Didn't I say somebody's watching you? Somebody's watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. Yep, that's what I'm getting here. They didn't give you much of anything. The Seven of Pentacles, not moving forward, not moving backwards. They didn't give you much of anything, so you decided to leave. So was I part of that. And they're going the same direction. Either way I put it, they're going the same direction. So I feel like a lot of you guys have pulled your energy back, male or female, because they weren't offering much. And um, this person is promising a change. Yeah, you ended things with somebody. The Death card, Scorpio energy here. You know, this is a major arcana, so that's a definite energy. So either you deal with a Scorpio summer rise of Venus or you end something in Scorpio season, October, November time frame. Very strong C G M and W. First and my last initial, also D and H. I heard Hill. Someone's last name could be Hill. Harvey. This could be a location or last name also. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck and get the hair fine. And I, I meant to say that and I didn't think about it, but um, because I've seen it here, it caught my attention. Um, I did see the tower. That's why I was getting like somebody is going to taste their own medicine. Like their world is falling apart all around them. Also, again, you start off here with the death card, Scorpio, and you got Scorpio Aries here. So something happened in Scorpio season for some of you all. Or with a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus individual. Okay, there you go. It didn't take that long for us to get this card out of 78 cards. So I feel like this is going to be something that's going to be a topic that's going to be addressed soon. Or somebody's going to reach out to you soon. Okay. So right in front of you. Yep. Look at him. He's looking right towards. So this person broke your heart because this is your energy. And you're going towards the three of swords. This person broke your heart. And because they were doing something manipulative, sneaky. You felt like you couldn't trust this person. And when you get the devil, it's like... 
Everything they said he did, he did that shit. You know, the devil is the devil. Ain't no way fans of us about it. So this person did something that was hurtful, sneaky, manipulative, shady. Okay. Um, right up on that, yep, the moon. There was a lot of secrets with this person. Things hidden, things unknown, things you have clarity about. Shit. Well, you got the uh devil and the moon together. Oh yeah. Like I said, everything they said this person did, they did that shit. For real. <laughs> Somebody's name could be Kanan. That just made me think about um something that 50 Cent said in power. Mm hmm Somebody's name could be James. Someone's name could be Patrick, first middle last name. Also, someone's name can be um Curtis or Jackson, first middle last name. Bottom of the deck, you got the moon again. Wow. We stopped it. Okay. Something happened around the time of the full moon. And I always tell you guys three days before, during, and after the full or the new moon, the veil is thin. So this may have happened within the last three days for someone. This could have happened around the time of the full moon. We just had a full moon in the sign of Leo. Something could have came, yeah. Because, see, I always say the eyes are the gateways to the soul, and this is very true. You can't see the devil's eyes here. So someone did something sneaky. You, to get both of these moons, they were doing something sneaky. Someone found out. And it's something. Let's go ahead and shuffle. Let's see what we got here. The lovers, yeah, and let's put a wedge between them. Heels and mountains on our wedges, you know, challenges, hurdles that you have to get over. And I feel like this person is going to reach out. You see how he has his hand? I like, would you take my hand? And he's looking at her, but she's looking at the angel. Like, can I trust this person? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like someone in this situation is, and I wanted you guys to notice the opposite of the devil is the lovers. So I feel like, you know, you gave a lot to this connection. You gave a lot to this person and they, they broke your heart. Could be dealing with a Gemini. You got three of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then you have the lovers, Gemini. You got two major arcanas first and foremost. So it's like, there was secrets when it came to this union. You know, and either someone recently found it out or, you know, like I said, this could have happened last year, possibly by a third party. But it's like this person's like, I want to put the past behind us because you see how his back is facing us and they want to talk about the future. But a lot of you all are still going through some heartbreak because of something someone did. I'm getting that for sure. Bottom of the deck, you guys have the temperance card. Sagittarius energy. For some of you all, you have lost patience with this person and you're done and you're moving on. Also, this person, like, if they've been trying to reach out to you and you weren't responding and things like that, they're losing patience and they may end up just popping up on you unknowingly. Because, see, even if you see right here that crab is, like, just coming to the surface. So, this person may end up popping up at your job or something like that, coming to your house. If they're close with your family, especially if you have children with this person, they may just pop up to your family's house. If you guys have an extended history with each other, I'm getting that also. Let's get a clarifier for that three of swords. Clarifying for the Three of Swords for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Okay. And it bent up. <laughs> Did we not start off with this? Again. So, Page Pentacles, I'm going to tell you right now, this person's going to pop up on you. Or you. Because this is this could be your energy also if you're not dealing with a fellow Earth sign. And if you're not dealing with a fellow Earth sign, like I said, it could just be this, simply that, you know, they're offering something to you. You are the Pentacles. If this person reaches out to you, you may be looking at it like, do I want to accept this? Do I, am I interested in this? You know, do I want to hear this person out? Because I definitely feel like you got somebody who wants to communicate with you. Source communication, mental. They want to communicate with you and you may be thinking about it. Now it could be like they're just texting you or sending you messages or voicemails and you're kind of looking like, should I even respond? Because that could be you also like, should I respond to this person? I'll do anything, anything you want. Yes, my word is bond. Baby, I was wrong. Please forgive me for what I've done. I'm sorry. That's the lyric that just keeps sticking out for me. So you definitely have somebody coming in with an apology. But see, what I don't like about this is that you can't see his eyes. It's like, have you changed sincerely? You know, that's what I'm really concerned about. Bottom of the deck, yeah. You got the page. Oh, you got two pages. So this person is emotionally immature, okay? This person is emotionally immature. If you're dealing with a Scorpio or a Pisces, because you have the moon twice, and then you're Scorpio, this, um... I mean, the death card, that's Scorpio. And you have the moon twice, Pisces, possibly Cancer also. Okay, you've had all the water signs because remember in the beginning we had the chariot, like someone's coming towards you. So all the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If you're dealing with water signs, this person is emotionally mature. They're, they're a bit childish. Let's get a clarifier for the devil. Well, that's how their actions were in the past. And you're not sure if, you know, this person has changed. It doesn't, I don't know. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't feel like they have. See how that landed right here? You have the four of swords in reverse. It's like this person is like they're realizing like I don't want to be without this person. I fucked up and I know it and I get it. 
because they've had time to take a break and learn from their lessons in reverse it's like you definitely have some communication coming in okay upright the swords are down sword down is no sort of is yes and reverse sort of is yes and then it's back to that three you have the three of swords here you have the four of swords here but here the three of swords are upright so you definitely have somebody who broke your heart trying to come back towards you that's that's for sure this combination is someone who is manipulative. They've done something fucked up, hurtful, and now they want to come back and communicate with you, okay? So I feel like this person may even tell you, like, you know, I prayed on it and I've asked God to help me understand why I did this and why I'm like that, you know? And they may even be speaking in a way that you're like, this ain't even you. This don't even sound like you. You would never say something like that. You know what I mean? I'm getting stuff like that. I'm really getting like this person, you, somebody who broke your heart, long story short, somebody who broke your heart is coming back. They want to communicate with you, but you could have some questions like, do, should I trust this person? I don't know if I can trust this person. I don't know if I want to dance with the devil again. That's what they're doing, dancing with the devil, you know? And you may have felt like I've done that before. I'm done. This is being done, completely done. Any major arcana, that's definite. So you, you could feel like I'm done, but it's like you may still have questions, you know? And so you may question whether or not you should reach out to them or allow them to explain themselves or speak their peace because you're wondering whether or not it's going to bring you peace. Cause sometimes people require closure, you know, and you may feel like, well, I just need that closure. I need to know why this person did that so that I can move on. I'm getting that as well. Okay. So Taurus, someone rising and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe, click the notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.